Crazy scene. Thank you, Alicia. Seven people without a home this noon, but they are holding on to their special memories after a fire this morning. It happened in the 12,000 block of La Lira Street in a neighborhood between Wurzbach Parkway and Perrin Beidel. Sarah Costa learned the home was built 50 years ago by the owner's father. It's devastated. Victor Aguilar woke up to members of his family shouting to get out after a wall of their home ignited in flames. The fire trapping him in his front bedroom with his wife. He was able to climb out a window. He says it was more difficult for his wife to get out. Now she's got a prosthetic leg. I couldn't get her out the window. Uh, the EMS came and helped her get out. So she's critical condition at BMC right now, so let's keep her in prayer. She wasn't burned, but taken in critical condition for smoke inhalation. Aguilar was treated for smoke inhalation on scene and is going to be okay. His father, brother, and three other adults were also in the home and got out safely. Firefighters say they were called out to the 12,000 block of La Lida Street just after three this morning. Fire crews were able to contain the fire within an hour. One of the women in the home told firefighters she used the microwave, then shortly after she noticed a spark, and then the whole wall was on fire. Firefighters say they believe the cause was electrical. The fire spread to the attic, then through the rest of the home. Firefighters calling this a complete loss. Now the sun is up. You can really see how intense this fire was and the damage it did to this home. The roof completely collapsed in, charring to the front of the home and all that water damage in the driveway. For Aguilar, it's the memories he's holding on to after losing all the family photographs of his childhood home that his father built 50 years ago. I got here when I was eight years old. My dad's got a super eight film of me jumping up and down that that far wall over there saying this is my room. It was just concrete slab. There was no houses out here at the time. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News.